It's time to bring it on with your email questions. And Callista writes, I have a couple of annuities within my portfolio, and I'm wondering why so many retirement planners want to use these. The planner keeps telling me they are good to have, but seems like that is the only explanation that I get. Pat, what do you think? Uh, the annuity is good for him. The, the uh, salesmen for the insurance companies get a big piece of the first payment on an annuity, maybe even the first couple of payments. They, they may get up to 50% or 60% of the total amount. So selling annuities is what their, is their lifeblood. Of course, they're going to tell you it's good. Hmm. Uh, an annuity locks up your money. Uh, you can't get it out once you put it in. And, of course, you're guaranteed a return, but the returns have been pretty skimpy. Uh, and uh, I, I don't... Uh uh, you know, there's, there may be for some estate planning things, annuities, and there are all kinds of insurance products. So I can't in a few seconds talk about all these various ones. Mm. Uh, so in certain cases and for tax purposes, et cetera, an annuity is a very good thing. But as I say, it's mostly good for the person selling it. All right. All right. Well, James writes, when I fall under the anointing of God, I often shake and move around the church. I was surprised when one pastor told me that this is not the Spirit of God. Now I'm confused. Am I doing something wrong? Well, I hate to tell somebody it's not of God. How does that pastor know what's God and what isn't God? But I, I do think a lot of that shaking, barking, jerking, and so forth is the flesh resisting the spirit. It isn't the flow of, of God. You know, is it, it the flesh resisting or reacting? Well, it's both. It's resisting and reacting. But uh, it's like, uh, what do you want when you got electricity? Do you want the uh, the conductor to get all hot, or do you want the electricity to flow through to the and, and light a light or start an engine? Um, what the flow? You never saw Jesus jerking and barking and jumping because right. he was already filled with the Holy yeah, Spirit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. the flow of God went through him, and people were healed instantly. Okay, what else? Okay. Wendy writes, not me, different Wendy. I just watched a story about a couple in a car fire and how an angel took her to heaven. She said she didn't know why God saved her, but she's grateful. I was in a car accident a few months ago and actively dying. I was not grateful that God saved me. It's not because I have permanent damages. I should just be thrilled to be that he used this to prove miracles happen, but I'm not. My relationship with Christ, I thought, was close. Why am I so disappointed? I should be dead, and I'm walking, and should be thrilled, but I'm not. Well, uh, if you've been to heaven, why would you be thrilled to come back to earth? I mean, it's, it's perfectly natural if somebody has really tasted heaven, and you've been in heaven. Uh, you know, the idea is, don't send me back. Well, I'm sending you back because you have a work to be done here on earth, but the earth is a filled with pain and suffering and heartache yeah. and difficulty. And heaven is a place of beauty and peace and joy and uh, no tears. Well, of course you'd like that better. I mean, that's, you know, that's, you're asked, well, why do you feel that way? Well, that's how come. I mean, it's only natural. What else? Right. All right, Corrine writes, my daughter doesn't believe in the gifts from God. She doesn't believe in visions at all. I tried to get her to go to the movie Heaven is for Real, but she refused. She said it's a cult movie. I was healed, but uh, I was healed, but she still doesn't believe in healing or being filled with the Holy Spirit. She says it was only for long ago. She goes to the Baptist church. What do they teach, and do they not believe in healing and the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Well, I don't know what Baptist church you believe to. There are many Baptists. They're independent Baptists. They're free will Baptists. They're um, Old River Baptists, all kinds of Baptists. So I don't know what that church believes. But there are many of them that don't believe that uh, the Lord does miraculous things today. Uh, they, they teach that after the first hundred years, all that stopped. Well, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, those of us who've experienced his power know very well, you know the same thing. Uh, I just pray for your daughter, love her, and uh, that, that's, she's being taught in that Baptist church that anybody who believes in miracles is part of a cult. Well, uh, they're wrong, but uh, mm -hmm. so what? I mean, well, what are you going to do? I mean, she's your daughter, and you are the one responsible for her bringing up. If she'd been brought up in an atmosphere of love, joy, and, 
and uh, anointing and miracles, then she would have believed in miracles. Mm. My children believe in miracles. My mm -hmm. grandchildren believe in miracles. It's right there in the, in the New Testament. You yeah, really have but, to just disregard but the, the Bible. But the, yeah, but they disregard it by saying yeah. that this is the different dispensation. That was a different dispensation. You know, they, they cut the Bible out by doing that. Yeah. Well, All right. NARAC writes, my friend says that be, because I have vociferously spoken out against abortion and publicly funded contraceptive services, Karma will get me, and my firstborn child will be a girl. What does the Bible say about karma? Well, the Bible doesn't say anything about karma. It's a Hindu doctrine that there's, you're on a wheel of fate, and that um, the way you live in this next life will, it's metempsychosis or, or reincarnation. You'll come back as something else. And uh, they say in Kathmandu, uh, why do they beat the dogs? They beat the dogs unmercifully. Why? Because they think the dog is somebody who lived in a previous uh, life and that he or she misbehaved and therefore came back as a dog, so they're going to make that dog very unhappy so it won't do it again. That is nonsense. But poor that's dog. This poor dog. That is at the heart of Hinduism. It, it is the reincarnation, and that's that's one of the extreme. Uh, that's what the karma thing. You hear a lot about karma, good karma, bad mm. karma. It's it's the the fate that attaches to you in your next life. It doesn't happen. It's not mm. biblical.